Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be checking out the 2020 Voodoo Kanzo. Firstly, I want to apologise for any bad audio quality. I had to edit this on my phone because it's all filmed in 4K and my computer can't run that. But let's start by looking at some of the features of the bike. So the bike comes stock with WTB Trail Boss 2.25 inch tyres, which after a day on the trails, I can say were actually really impressive. The SRAM SX Eagle 1x12, yep, yeah, that's right, 1x12 drive terrain is absolutely ridiculous. 10 to 50 tooth, I mean, that's all the gears you're going to need. Uh, you've got the SRAM SX cranks as well. They definitely did not cheap out the drivetrain. I think that is a really important thing that they didn't do that. Taking a look at the rear shock here. Again, it does not disappoint. We've got a nice little bit of linkage here. It's quite a common enduro style linkage. Um, definitely not cross country, so that's good. It's, it, this is a trail bike. Here's the RockShox Monarch RT. It's got around 130, 133 mil of travel. Really, really nice shock. Really nice shock. And it's got your rebound adjustment. It's got your lockout and your half lockout. Just what you're looking for for a versatile bike. I mean, you don't really need the lockout. It pedals really, really nicely, even going uphill. I just can't really believe it comes with such a good suspension for only a thousand pounds. I mean, I'd expect to see this on a much higher end bike. It handles trails really, really well, absorbs all the drops, all the bumps. It's a really quiet, smooth shock. Coming around to the front, we have another piece from RockShox. This is a RockShox Recon RL, 140mm travel fork. Really, really nice fork, really, really quiet, really, really smooth, lots of adjustment. Uh, and on the front, it comes with that through axle as well. So on the rear, it does run a quick release, which is a bit annoying, but for the price, I can't complain. But it's got that through axle up front. And again, coming back up to the fork here, you got your compression adjustment or your lockouts it's you know you can choose how much you want to lock out which is it's what you'd expect on a fork of this level but i'd say on a bike of this price i'd expect less i mean this is really really impressive coming up to the handlebars here got really nice 760 mil bars clark's hydraulic brakes now i've heard these clark's clouts aren't the best i've heard that the stopping power isn't great i have found them to be really really great on the 180mm clocks, rotors, they really bite nicely. One finger brakes, yep, that's fine. And I've taken it to Pitch Hill, which if you know your way around the UK trails, it's got some nice downhill trails and the brakes Coming did up not here disappoint. Coming to the cockpit again, like I said, a really, really nice wide bars, really nice short stem. It makes for great handling. The seat. Now, usually on bikes, cheaper bikes, you don't get much of a comfy seat, but this seat is actually really, really nice. It's lightweight. Only issue is this is a large frame. This is slammed. That seat is slammed, so if you're going to want to lower the seat anymore, you're going to have to cut it down, which is fine, or just get a dropper, and I think it would be worth the upgrade. The suspension has actually really, really impressed me. It's really, really sensitive, really good over really small bumps, and it's just so, so quiet. As you can see here, it's smooth, it's quiet. I mean, the RockShox front and rear on a bike for £1,000, it's just... There is no competition. This is the best you're going to get for your money. There are no compromises when it comes to the nice Voodoo lock-on grips as well. Really comfy. I won't be upgrading them. And we're going to take a little look at how the hub sounds. Some people might be interested in it. It's not quiet. It's not loud. Somewhere in the middle, I'd say. Only thing with the quick release on the rear, some people said, oh, it might have, it has a bit of frame flex because of that quick release. I didn't notice any of that. I found it's a really, really stable. The geometry was really confidence inspiring, really allowed you to dig into those trails. For me, I found it to be a really, really great fit. I'm six foot two. This loops me around sort of to the end of the review. Overall, I think for a thousand pounds, you're getting a really, really good package deal. Uh, there's a 2018 and 2019 model. Make sure you don't get that confused with this model. They made the huge improvements on this bike, fitting it with the RockShox up front and the RockShox in the rear. I mean, for the money, guys, you cannot, you just won't be able to beat that. The only thing I've heard about this bike that might let it down is some people complain about the brakes and the geometry of the frame. As for the brakes, I bedded them in properly and I found them to be absolutely great. But then I do only weigh around 140 pounds, 145 pounds, so I am quite a light rider. And as far as the geometry goes, I 
found it really really nice i mean when i'm on the road it's upright enough and when i'm on the trails it's planted enough it keeps me you know bouncing around those tabletops like a manual i mean it is a great frame the high bottom bracket some people complained about i quite like it because you know you've got that clearance to get over everything um and i've still found it's perfectly planted i mean if you're looking for a full suspension mountain bike for under a grand i mean don't look anywhere else this is the best bike you're gonna find the only issue at the moment is stock they're probably quite hard to find in stock at the moment but uh just keep looking keep your eyes open and uh yeah i'd really recommend this bike the only upgrade i would do possibly cut down that seat post you know so find your riding height and then cut down all the excess so you can be able to slam it and uh also, I would say maybe a slightly wider front tire to give a bit more confidence on those trails. But then again, this tire is, I mean, it is good because it's also good for road and XE. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. If you did, please leave a like and comment. I'll see you later.